Mr. Barrett. And today I want to share some insight of how you can be successful in the virtual education environment. First tip that I want to talk about today is time management. It is crucial in the virtual world that you learn to manage your time in a healthy way. I know here at school oftentimes that, that, that time frame, that environment is shaped for you, but at home we have to make sure that we are taking ownership of our time. I have never met a student who doesn't desire to be successful in life after high school. But we all know people who, after high school, live lives that aren't successful. One of the major things that people do to find success in life after high school is they learn to manage their time wisely. Creating a healthy schedule around prioritized activities. What do I mean by that? Well, first off, I think we have to step back and recognize what is our priority. You know, oftentimes I talk to students and, and, and I have them ask the question, what is the right thing to do? Because I feel most of the time, or a lot of times, I know in my life especially, I've always asked the question, what's the best thing for me? And oftentimes that's maybe the easy approach or, or the selfish approach. But when we start asking ourselves, what's the right thing to do? We're going to find that we are going to often pick the thing that is that, that is challenging or it's going to be the thing that pushes us into success and so prioritizing your schedule is incredibly important with that time management what are some of the tools that you have available to you number one we have given every student an ipad and i always talk to students about recognizing that their ipad is a tool not a toy so utilize it in that way it's not a toy for entertainment, but it is, a, it is a tool to be utilized to help manage your time, to be productive, and to complete the tasks that are asked of you. If you need more help or insight, reach out to us. So remember, time management is crucial. Remember to create healthy, prioritized schedules, take ownership of your future, and be proactive utilizing the resources around you. So objective number two in finding success in a virtual classroom is organizing your workspace. And what I mean by that is we have to learn to create a designated workspace in our house. If you talk to anyone who is successful from working at home, you're gonna recognize that what they do is they create a home office atmosphere. I've talked to many students where, where they find the space that they utilize to do schoolwork virtually. Maybe they're finding it on the couch. Maybe you're in your bedroom on your bed. The reality is these are very unhealthy places for us to do our virtual classroom. Um, the reason being is because subconsciously our brain and our body recognizes when we walk into that environment. Whether you're a teacher walking into your classroom, your, your posture and your mind shifts. Whether you're an accountant working, walking into your bank, whenever you're working from home, you have to create that home environment, home office. Once you have created that spot, once you've located it, it may be the dining room table because you're the only one at home during the school hours. It may be putting a table or a desk up in your bedroom, but recognizing that when I'm in this location, I am going to be doing my schoolwork. Next, make sure all the resources that you will need will be found at that workspace. So if you need a calculator, make sure it's available. If you need pencils and papers, if you need art supplies, if you need a stapler, make sure those things are located so you don't have to be distracted, get up, go searching for these things. What you want to do is eliminate any type of distraction. So find the resources that you need. If you need pencils and papers, if you need art supplies, if you need a calculator for a math class, make sure all those resources are readily available before your day begins. That way you don't have to stop and get up and move. So just remember, having an organized designated workspace in your house with all the resources needed for the day is incredibly important and will help lead to success in a virtual classroom environment. And the third and final step that I want to talk about today is eliminating distractions. Have you ever, tell me if you've ever had this experience, you're sitting here, this is your iPad, 
Here is your phone. Your intentions are fully engaged in your classwork. And you're working along. What happens? The screen lights up. And so curiosity kicks in subconsciously and you want to check and so you do. And what you do is you detach from your schoolwork. You attach to your phone. You may think this is only going to take 30 seconds and it may, but when you reattach to your content, you don't just pick up where you left off. What happens is, where was I? You have to read through, oh yeah, your higher level critical thinking takes about a 30 seconds to a minute to kick in. You start getting back into your content and you're completing your tasks and what happens? The screen lights up again. Curiosity kicks in. So I want to talk really quickly about a few things you can do to help eliminate this. I know if you sit down at the beginning of the day and you see six or eight hours of work in front of you, it becomes demoralizing. It can be really challenging to even want to do this. What I recommend, and I have talked to many students who are successful in doing this, is learning to chunk their time. So this phone, like we've talked about, can be a really good tool. First thing you want to do is when you sit down to your schoolwork, is you want to turn it on to do not disturb. Every phone has a do not disturb. Once you turn that on, set your timer for 30 minutes. Nobody can contact you, no text, no Instagrams, no snaps can come through. But what I want you to do is work diligently on your classwork for 30 minutes. When that timer goes off, guess what? You've just earned a break. Our brains are not capable of focusing much more than 30 or 40 minutes. So after 30 minutes of hard work, set your timer for five to 10 minutes, turn it off of do not disturb. If you wanna check your messages, if you wanna go get a snack, go to the bathroom, get a drink, stretch, whatever works for you. But once that timer goes off after five or 10 minutes, return to your desk, your workspace, set the timer for 30 more minutes, do not disturb, and begin to work. All right? So eliminating distractions is incredibly important, and that is the third step for finding success in the virtual classroom. Be patient. Don't be hard on yourself. Change can only come from within. And I know many of us aren't very happy with maybe the grades that are reflecting who we are, and that's okay. What we can do today is choose to make new choices. So change comes from within. Change most often happens in our struggles. And I believe as a community, as a nation, as a world, many of us are finding this time challenging and we're struggling. And so this is an opportunity for us to grow and for us to create change that's gonna to lead to even more success. And the last thing is change does take time. So be patient, don't be hard on yourself. When you fall down, get back up, ask yourself, what could I have done better? Learn and grow. Ladies and gentlemen, we just want to provide a word of encouragement. And I think my biggest nugget that I want for you to walk away with is find your way. Find your way to create an environment, a structure at home where you can be the best you possible and do the best work that you can produce at home. So find your way, find your system, and know that your teachers your school counselors, your administrators, we are all an email away, a remind away, a phone call away, whatever communication means you want to choose, we are here to support you and we want you to be as successful as you can be. We are here at Greencastle, ready to support you. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. We believe in you, we want you to be successful. Be you. <laughs> I didn't know what to that. that Take care, work hard, and keep being GA proud. I just didn't do it, but you already tied in GA proud. <laughs> Sorry, I'll oh, hop. This is my angle. Hey, GA students. I hope that this message finds you doing well. And we're here at Greencastle High School getting ready for virtual learning in the next couple weeks ahead. And we hope that you will communicate with your teachers, follow along on that Schoology page. Our teachers are ready to do Zooms, are ready with office hours, and are ready to make you successful. And so we are here. Reach out to us if you need anything. And we are GA Proud.